Hi, my name is Rachel and today I'm going to be teaching you how to sew a teddy bear. Included in your kit will be two teddy bear cutouts, three buttons, a needle, embroidery thread, safety pins, and some stuffing for your teddy bear. To start, you're going to want to choose which teddy bear cutout you want for the front of your teddy bear. I've chosen this side and I've flipped it over so that I don't have these black markings. So for this step, you're going to take the two buttons that you've decided on for your eyes and then the third button for the nose. Move them around a bit to decide where you want them and then I'm just going to take a marker and mark where I've placed them so that when you go to sew them, they're still in the same spots. So for the next step, you're going to take your embroidery thread. You're going to want a length that's about a meter long, I would say. And then we're just going to take some scissors. Cut it. Um, so this is the thread that we're going to be using to sew on the eyes and nose. It's important that you do a double knot at the end to make sure that your thread doesn't uh, come through while you're sewing and so that it stays secured. Next I'm just going to thread the needle. If you're having a bit of trouble with this, maybe you can get an adult to help you. So, next, I'm going to start by sewing on one of the eyes. This button has four holes in it, so we're going to go over how to sew that on first, and then I'm going to show you how to sew on a button with two holes. So I'm going to start from the back of the teddy bear, and I'm just going to push my needle through one of the holes of the button, and pull it all the way through. Next what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go through again on the opposite buttonhole here and then I'm going to go through to the back. Next I'm just going to repeat that again through the other buttonhole. Sometimes it can be a little bit tricky to find where your needle's going through but you should be able to get the hang of it. Just pull that tight and then we're just going to go through again on the opposite side. <laughs> Might get a little tangled up. So to tie off the button, what you're going to do is, on the back, you might be able to see I have a stitch here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my needle, I'm going to go under that stitch, and I'm going to pull until I have a loop like this. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go through that loop and tie a knot. I'm just gonna do this one more time so that I have a double knot to make sure that that button stays securely on there. We're just gonna snip this off. So if you didn't have four hole buttons for your eyes, I'm gonna show you now how to sew on a two hole button. So what we're gonna do is it's the same thing as before. We're gonna come through the back through one of the holes like that. Pull it tight, always tying a knot at the end of your thread. And then you're just gonna go back down again, but you're just gonna do this two, maybe three times to make sure that your button stays on. And then just to finish off the button, we're gonna do the same thing again where you put your needle through one of your existing stitches 
in the back, pull it through until you have a loop, put your needle through, and you're just gonna tie a knot. And then I'm just gonna do this once more so that you have a double knot and your nose isn't gonna fall off. So once you've reached this point where your eyes and your nose is on, your face is pretty much complete. If you want to, you can draw a mouth on, do a little smile or something. Um, so for the next step, we're gonna be needing the other teddy bear cutout. So for this one, make sure again that the black markings on the fabric are actually flipped up this time because this is gonna be on the inside of your teddy bear. Then you're gonna put your other piece on like this, line it up to where you want it. And then you're gonna take your safety pins and put a few in in the legs, the arms, you could put some up here in the body, just to make sure that your two pieces stay together while you're sewing the edges. So once you've pinned together both sides of your teddy bear so that it's secure, you're gonna take your needle and thread. I've already tied a knot at the end of it like this. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna start up by the ear here and you're gonna go through the back. The reason why I'm starting by the ear is that when you go to stuff the teddy bear, you're gonna want this space to be left unsewn so that you can get the stuffing in. So I'm starting from the back like this. Just pulling my thread through. And this is a pretty easy stitch. All you're gonna be doing is you're just gonna be going back to front, back to front, back to front. And you're gonna do that all the way around your teddy bear to this ear, making sure that you do leave this space open. Okay, so I've done a few stitches across the ear here. I'm gonna finish this off camera as it's gonna take me a little while and then we'll be back once I've gone all the way around to this other ear. So once you've finished sewing around the edges, you can go ahead and take your safety pins out. I've already done that. And then what you're gonna do next is take some of your stuffing and should leave a hole like this in the head. And you just take some of your stuffing and you can just put it um, it might be a bit difficult to get it right down to the feet, so you can take something like a wooden spoon or maybe like the end of a kitchen utensil, something like that, just to help you push it down um, to the ends of the feet. So once you have your bear stuffed to your liking, you're gonna sew up this gap at the top of the head. So you're just gonna use the same technique as before, where you take your needle and thread, go through the back like this, and just To tie off uh, the stitches in your teddy bear after you've finished sewing the top of the head, you're just gonna tie the same knot that we've done a few times already. Just pull it through an existing stitch, make a loop, go through the loop, and then you're just tying a knot like that. So I'm just gonna do it one more time so that we have a double knot. Oh, the stitches don't come out. The 
will not. Get my scissors. And there you have it, your very own Tabor. Thank you to everyone who watched this video. I hope that this uh, video made it easier to follow along with the instructions and that you had fun doing this. Um, if you want to know more about Hutchison House, links to our website and Facebook page will be in the description. Thank you so much.